WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the 1 p.m. update. Uh, currently, we have the Dow up uh, 343 points. That's 1 and 3 tenths percent. It's trade down at 26, 449. S&P is up 30 points. NASDAQ 100 up 1.5%, 1 116 points. are trading out at 76.43. The Russell 2000 up over 1% at 16 points and change. She's trading at 15.49. So mean and green across the board. Interesting. As we come on here at 1 o'clock, you've got the spot volatility index up 5 pennies. Trading out at 1540. Now it is below the X, uh, it's 50 day exponential moving average. But uh, as uh, Schultz, you might say, very interesting. Maybe that was Artie Johnson. Uh, you've got gold up $8.80. Silver's up 18 pennies, a little over well, about one and a quarter percent, actually. Uh, light sweet crude is up nearly two bucks or four percent. Um, let's take a look at the actual indices, get a feel as to what they're doing. We'll start by taking a look at the uh, Dow. Here's what we can see right now. If you're watching us on Tiger TV, uh, what you're going to notice is that the Dow has already tested. So far, it's a rejection, but it has tested the uh, swing point. It's all-time high swing point. That was generated out here on April 23rd. Now, what you want to do is watch the price point of 2650356. If the Dow closes above that level, because whether it's volume or not, we don't know if there's going to be enough volume today as you test the swing point. That's always important. But even if it's light volume and price closes over 26,503, he still suggests that price will go test that high, 26,695. What happens if it closes below that? Well, then things can start to get dicey out there. But let's take a look at the other markets. Let's look at the S&P 500. I suggest that you do this type of test by looking at the indices. You can go do the volume metrics by looking at the ETFs out there. But because of dividends and and uh, distributions and so forth, you're going to have different uh, swing points. And really, it's the indices. You can take a look at 29.2336. That's the bottom of the swing point for May Day, May 1st out there. That's the all-time swing point high. Price is tested and rejected as we speak at 102 in the afternoon. 29.23 is the number you're going to want to watch there. Just to kind of round this out here before we have to uh, go and prepare for the other show, if you take a look at the NDX 100, the interesting thing here, not up to its all-time swing point high but it's 0.786 retracement at 76.56 very interesting hey folks have a great tuesday or stay tuned steve rhodes that's me we'll be up next with the trader's edge